Hey everyone, this is David with Benchmark. Uh, today I'm just going to walk you guys through what the lights mean on the S320. I already got mine on. To turn it on, you're just going to press this power button on the left, hold it down until you see the lights start flashing in a heartbeat motion. So going from left to right, we have the leftmost light. That's the GSM UHF light. Uh, if that's flashing, that means you're either broadcasting or receiving corrections. Uh, if it's green, it means the channel's clear, and if it's red, that means you have interference. Next light over is the GPS light. If that light's flashing, it means the receiver can see satellites, but it doesn't have a fixed position yet. And if it's solid, then you have a good position that you can work with. Uh, the third light over is a GGPS light. Now all that does is if it's on and it's green, then you have DGPS, and if it's not, then you don't. Um, next over, we got the two battery lights here. Uh, the top one is for the right battery, and the bottom one's for the left battery. Uh, you can see the one that's blinking is the one that's in use. And then depending on the color, so the colors go green and then yellow and then red, uh, it tells you the state of your charge. So you can see here that my left battery is just about dead, and my right battery is pretty much fully charged. This light on top here, that's your external power light. That'll light up when you have your receiver plugged into a 12 volt battery. Uh, the other thing that light does, it'll start beeping when your receiver is just about to die if you're running off battery power. Next over is the Bluetooth light. That just turns on when you get a Bluetooth connection with your data collector or your phone. And then finally you have the SD card light, and that'll light up when you plug an SD card into the slot, and it'll start blinking when it's reading the SD card or writing the SD card. So if you have any more questions, just call us, one 286 3204 and have a good day.